In this video, we will cover how to set up your LevelSense Pro following these basic steps. Connecting to Wi-Fi, portal registration, claiming device, configure device, installing sensors, and setting up contacts. Plan for 15 to 30 minutes. You will need a number three flathead screwdriver, your Wi-Fi credentials, and a Wi-Fi device. Connecting to Wi-Fi with hotspot mode. Once powered on out of the box, the cloud LED will be flashing white, indicating the device is in hotspot mode. Using a Wi-Fi device, connect to the LevelSense network. On an iPhone, go to Settings, Wi-Fi, and click on the network, LevelSense, to join. Once connected, open the internet browser and navigate to the web address 192.168.4.1. On this page, enter your Wi-Fi credentials and click Submit. After submitting, you will need to reset the LevelSense Pro using the reset button on the device. After reset, the cloud LED may flash yellow while connecting. If the cloud LED flashes red, the Wi-Fi SSID or password is incorrect. See section 10 of the user manual to reset the password and try this process again. If all four LEDs flash, you are successfully connected to your network and have a claim code. Portal Registration On your computer, navigate to level-sense.com. Click on Portal, then Register. Enter your email address and click Register. Check your email for a confirmation message and follow the link. Create a password and click Reset. Once complete, Log in. Claim Device. In Portal, click Claim. Using the dropdowns, select the LEDs to match your unique claim code. After claiming, allow time for your device to appear. Device Configuration. As data comes in from the device, graphs will begin to populate. If the optional water level sensor is installed, Readings will appear after the automatic calibration process. Under Device Detail, name your device. This name is used in alarm messages. If using the water level sensor, reset calibration after installation to clear any readings from the installation process. Under Alarm Configuration, the water level will display calibrating for the first several cycles of the sump pump. For each sensor, set up alarm conditions to issue an alarm. Next, select which outputs occur when that condition is met. Siren, relay, and or message. Under alarm log, up to 45 of the most recent alarm messages can be displayed. Install sensors. Wire the sensors to the green terminal. None of the sensors have polarity, so they cannot be wired backwards. Mount the float switch with the provided bracket and zip ties. The float should be mounted above the normal water line. If using the level sensor, thread it behind the float switch zip ties and as close to the bottom of the pit as possible. Install an additional zip tie to secure the wire at the bottom. Ensure the wire is pulled taut. Place the leak sensor on the floor where water would pool in the event of a leak. Set up contacts. Under the contacts tab, click add contact. Set up the contact name, contact type, email address, or cell phone number and service provider if using text message. Click Save. Send a test message to validate setup. For more information, visit LevelSense.com.